that is the proper way to display a motorcycle. Even right down to the wood. You see that? We are at Buddy Stubbs Harley Davidson right here in Arizona. We're actually at the Cave Creek location with their very cool uh, museum. Take a look. Rough Superior, right when you walk in. <laughs> That's sick, right? Yeah. Did you want me to Lawrence of Olivier right there. Standing in the showroom, Bike, bikes are starting in the background, things are happening, and uh, we are here for the hot bike tour. We're going to ride up through some beautiful roads of Arizona into the northern part of Arizona, and I can't wait to share it all with you. Buddy Stubbs is an iconic name when it comes to Harley Davidson. This guy has been a Harley dealer for over 80 years, and uh, frankly, his family are personal friends of mine. They're really good people. I'm excited that they teamed up with the hot bike for this tour, and uh, oh, wait a minute. What is? Okay, that's pretty. That is pretty. I have to say, if I bought another Harley, the Heritage would probably be that bike. The reason being, here's a little fun fact, why do I love Harley Davidson? My uncle, my uncle Wayne, used to show up at my family parties and his leathers dirty, rode in from the miles, and everybody at the family reunion would be like, oh man, Uncle Wayne just rode in how many miles? And since a little kid, I just always had this, uh, this dream of being a biker on the road like my Uncle Wayne. And uh, when he always showed up, he showed up on a Heritage. It's always just been kind of a, a bike that I like, and I'm telling you, this blue and white gives me that nostalgic feel. It reminds me of, of my Uncle Wayne. Uncle Wayne, I miss you drastically. I wish you were still here with us. Um, I wish you were here to see all this motorcycle fun we're having. I think we should take this. Let's, let's see if we can take this thing for a ride. Let me find somebody here. We're going to take this thing for a ride. In honor of you, Uncle Wayne. Let's see if we can find somebody. Uh oh. Hey. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Great, thank you. You ready for a ride? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, hey man, hey, hey, hey. Do you think you guys would let me ride that new heritage over there? Can I just take it for a ride? Do you guys sure. help me out? Let's go do it. All right, man. Heck yes. See what I mean? This is what it's all about. It's called family. Look at that thing. Brand new 2000. Well, that's got to be a 19, huh? It's a 19. Yeah. 19. Yeah, it's billiard blue and billiard white. Billiard blue. Like the pool ball. Just like the number two. Let's, let's take this girl for a ride. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much. Not a problem. It means the world to me, man. You guys are the best. Whew. I need to uh, go get my helmet. So this is my new helmet. It's the uh, new Senna helmet. And the dope thing about this helmet is the uh, camera on top. And I'm telling you, um, I've seen other helmets with cameras on top, but they're always they're always GoPros. You know, I've I've ridden with. I've ridden with uh, a camera on top of my helmet before, but it always made me feel like a Teletubby. It was like this little GoPro up on top of my helmet this high. This is a very sleek, cool design. It's got the camera, it's got the communications, it's got the uh, microphone, everything built directly into the helmet. I'm really, really blessed to be riding this helmet and trying it out. It's not even for sale yet, so today and this hot bike tour is going to be kind of my first uh, checking it out. I haven't even plugged it in, charged it up, tried it, nothing. I just wore it. And so far, I have to say, pretty comfortable. All right, let's take this girl for a ride.
I miss you, brother. And that is an absolutely beautiful motorcycle. Hey, lady. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Are you ready? Can can I film you right now? Is that okay? You're no, good with totally this? Good. All right. I'm good. So uh, you're gonna ride with us today or what? I am. You are. All yeah. right. Tell everybody about motorcycle missions because I kind of leaked yesterday that I think uh, you're gonna be my 2018 yeah. 19 charity. It's a, it's a nonprofit. We're a 501c3. We do uh, motorcycle therapy with vets and first responders um, with struggling with PTSD and anxiety and that kind of thing. Um, so we teach them how to build motorcycles and we teach them how to ride dirt bikes. Uh, we teach them welding technology, fabrication. Uh, all Love in an effort of getting their hands busy and, and uh, the camaraderie and everything around it. So, so we do that out of out of Texas right now, and it's a good thing. I think it's an amazing thing. Yeah. I firsthand have seen how much uh, help the motorcycle community culture has given to vets out there who yeah, just absolutely. need that camaraderie back. Need that. It's just absolutely. so many good things come out of it. Is this your bike? This is my bike. And what are we looking at? It's a 2015 Indian Scout. Um, I did this build in uh, 2000, I think it was 2015, for uh, a guys versus girls bike build off. So me and a guy named Nick Jaquez, uh, we both built one, so it was a guy versus girl thing, and then we revealed them in Daytona, and my bike won. Well, I can't, I can't see why. <laughs> that thing is absolutely gorgeous. And this is powder coat, it's not paint. Too no cool. paint on this entire bike. See that little light LED in there? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, those are LED turn signals? Mm -hmm. Super sick, man. Super, super sick. It's got a Jigster front end. Now, is this not the lady you want heading up a bike building operation for veterans? I know I do. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's put down some miles. All right. So I got a special guest here with me who is going to be sharing the road with us today. A very special treat. If you don't follow her already, you should. 801 Moto Chick on Instagram. And uh, she's got a really rad page and she's a super rad rider totally influencing future generations to ride and she is right hey <laughs> how you doing wonderful how are you so i was telling everybody they need to check you out 801 moto chick on instagram you got some dots in there yes it's 801 dot moto dot chick no k just a c it's not a chicken <laughs> I'm an actual chick. and you're gonna be riding with us today what are you gonna be riding on what are you gonna be riding this lovely sports dirt. this is you right here yeah, I have some old school RSDs. They don't even make these anymore. Nice. Uh, as you can see, it's been welded a few times, chopped up a bit. No. But I'll show to you how I really like to ride. All right. Without a, without a grip on. What happened? <laughs> I like to ride with just the metal. You, you seriously? He's got baby hands. You do that on purpose? Oh yeah. We are gonna suit up, we are gonna go for a ride, and uh, we're gonna shred some mountains. Yes. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Here it comes. Uno. Uno, how you doing? Uno likes to ride, huh? He likes to uh, ride a lot. How many miles he got? Uh, 17,000. Nice. If you guys didn't see last night, I uh, was at the, the launch party where we had some bikes there. While I'm getting some meat, why don't y'all take a look at some of those bikes.
been traveling. I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes that is kind of what I want to go back to. It reminds me of my old war horse. And that was a sweet ride. We just arrived here in Flagstaff and uh, got chilly a little bit, but uh, it's still pretty nice. Everything went down good. Freddie had a little breakdown on his bike, but Buddy yeah. Stubbs got us fixed up. Yes. And uh, we are now at Grand Canyon Harley Davidson uh, for the last stop of the day here at the Hot Bike Tour. My buddy Logan, Russ is in the bathroom. Freddie's with me. Listen, guys, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna call uh, a night. Hey, there's Russ. This is where I'm gonna call it a night for y'all. Uh, remember, man, life is short. Buy the damn motorcycle.